Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at what's inside my Urban EDC survival pouch. So this Urban EDC survival pouch is a pocket-sized pouch that is always on me to complement my current EDC slash backpack. It's either inside my pocket or it's inside my EDC backpack when I'm at work. And uh, as I said earlier, it's designed to complement my current EDC so you won't be seeing any knives, flashlights, or pen in this pouch because I already carry those on my person almost all the time and uh, this is an urban survival pouch it is not an outdoor survival pouch so if you're stranded in the wilderness or something this would only get you so far compared to an actual outdoor survival pouch I always carry an individual first aid kit with trauma supplies so you also won't be seeing any first aid supplies in this pouch either so the pouch itself is made by a company called zero feud they make a variety of EDC accessories. They make a lot of patches and beads, but only a few months ago they started making these EDC pouches. These are obviously pocket sized and they actually call them wallet sized pouches. So you could use this pouch as a wallet and I think it would make a pretty solid wallet. But I personally prefer to carry a regular leather wallet and use this pouch as an urban EDC pouch. You also got a Velcro patch uh, to put on any ranger eyes that you might have. I only have one. It's a Benchmade one I got for free with a Benchmade purchase and uh, you can also uh, hook things onto the tags or make the zipper uh, longer with an extension but I haven't put anything yet. I got the uh, very bright orange color. Uh, I wanted it to be high vis so if I were to set it down or to lose it it would be easy to find. And now let's take a look inside the pouch itself. First up, we have a set of high-powered magnets. These high-powered magnets are actually originally intended to be a quick release for your keys or key fobs. Uh, the idea is to attach it to your main keychain and then have like your car key on the other side. So if you need to use your car, you just pull it off and use it. And when you're, it's not in use, you can put it back. And uh, it actually requires a good amount of force to separate the magnets, hence the reason why they're high powered but obviously I don't use them for my keys I use them as a tool to retrieve lost things uh, as I said uh, the magnets are high powered and to show you how powerful they are I'm gonna use it on my Leatherman Free P2 obviously this isn't extremely heavy or anything but uh, the magnet is strong enough to carry the tool just like that I'm, I'm trying to shake it off but as you can see, the magnet still holds onto it. So as I said, the high powered magnet is a very useful tool for retrieving lost metal things, whether they're big or small. Next up, we have a Leatherman Micro Multi-Tool. I already did a full dedicated review to this multi-tool, but the reason why I carry this in my Urban Survival Pouch, in addition to my Leatherman Free P2 and pocket knives, is that it has grooming tools, like a bigger set of scissors, you got some tweezers, as well as as, uh, the nail file and scraper. Next up we have a mini Bic lighter. Uh, this is really self-explanatory. I mean it's a Bic lighter but uh, in the mini size so it can easily fit in the pouch. Uh, I never have to worry about it running out or evaporating like a Zippo lighter. Uh, the lighter fluid's always there. Bic lighters last forever if you don't use them. And yeah I'm not a smoker nor do I really need to light things up constantly but it's always nice to have a lighter if you need it. And next up we have a mini hotel sewing kit. These you can usually get for free at hotels in addition to like soaps and lotions. Uh, but uh, I actually managed to get a bulk pack of these for like maybe five or six dollars on Amazon. It's, it's like a ton of these. Obviously I only carry one inside the uh, survival pouch and uh, as the name entails it's a sewing kit so if there are any repairs that need to be done to uh, uh, clothing or bags I can easily sew it up uh, with this kit it has um, a safety pen obviously a sewing needle various colored threads and two buttons and if you're really really desperate 
and you know and you have the skills to do it, you could even potentially stitch up a wound with it. And next up, we have a small microfiber cloth. This is mostly just for uh, my device, my smart devices, whether that be my smartphone or smartwatch. Uh, if the screen gets a little blurry or dirty, I can easily wipe it off with this microfiber cloth. And next up, I have a Victorinox nail clipper. Uh, obviously, Victorinox is mostly known for their Swiss Army knives, but they also make some good grooming tools, including this foldable nail clipper. I mean, it's a pretty simple nail clipper that, uh, as I showed, you can you just pull this tab, and then you have the nail clipper, and on this side, you have a nail file and a small little kind of like pry slash cleaning tool. It works great in addition to the Leatherman Micra. It's a great grooming kit, the uh, nail clipper and the Micra. It's great and it's essential for any urban survival kit. And next up, I have a set of tweezers, specifically Uncle Bill's sliver grippers. These are some high quality Main USA tweezers with pinpoint precision. Uh, it's excellent for fine detailed work or pulling out splinters that you might encounter in the field. And overall, they are very inexpensive, but high quality and very useful when you need it. And next up, I have a roll that consists of six feet of duct tape. Uh, duct tape really needs no introduction. It's very useful in temporary repair jobs or holding down things that shouldn't be moving. I took six feet worth of duct tape and wrapped it on a cut up end of a gift card. Next up, I have two toothpicks. Besides uh, picking teeth, toothpicks can also be used for uh, fine detailed work in pushing or poking things and uh, getting into very small crevices and pushing things in or out. And they can be very useful. I also have a tube of single use super glue. It's excellent for any repair jobs. And next up, I have my cell phone tech kit. First, I have a SIM card ejection tool. Um, in addition to uh, pushing the low button to open your SIM tray on your cell phone, uh, this a tiny piece of metal is good for little detailed work and maybe pushing things out in small crevices just like the toothpicks. And I always carry my phone charger on me in addition to a power bank, but I like to have this lever gear uh, cable kit uh, just in case uh, some someone else needs um, to charge their device or phone or even power their device and it doesn't use USB-C. Uh, this cable kit uh, by default has micro USB. It also comes with an adapter for micro USB to USB-C. And I also have a USB-C to lightning adapter uh, for anyone that uses an Apple device. And the next three loose things in the kit is an eraser. You have a binder clip and a quarter. It's a standard USB quarter. Um, I don't really carry change on me like at all so it's always nice to have a coin for scraping things like lottery tickets or the back of gift cards and to be used as a decision maker. And the first small little bag I have inside of my Urban EDC pouch is an office supply and fire starting bag. Inside this little Ziploc bag I have some rubber bands. I have a green twist tie that you'd find on loaves of bread. I have uh, two paper clips, one big, one small. I have two Q-tips and two matches. As I said, they are common office supplies and two matches for fire starting in case the lighter fails. Uh, all of these items are very useful in an urban environment, whether they be in repair jobs or for regular office things. I also have a smaller little Ziploc bag inside the Ziploc bag, just in case I need to transport something really small in its own bag. And last but definitely not least is the most ghetto looking bag in the kit and that is the pharmacy bag. Uh, as I said earlier, I carry my own first aid kit but I don't carry any drugs in that first aid kit so I carry it in my Urban EDC survival kit. In this bag I have two doses of anti-diarrhea medicine, I have two doses of Tylenol, one natural melatonin pill, and one Sudafed PE pill. Uh, they're essential drugs that I I might need uh, just when I'm out and about and uh, if I need them I'm glad to have them in hand. And here is the entire kit in all of its glory. Every single piece of content outside of the kit. Now I'll put everything back into the kit.
And there it is, the kit has been put back together. Obviously it didn't require that much effort. Uh, I just need to make sure everything fits inside. What's nice about this pouch in contrast to uh, my original kit, which uh, before I used an Altoids tin, mostly because it was cool and many people did it before, but what's great about this versus an Altoids tin is that you don't have to stack them in a certain way and the pouch uh, kind of adapts to what gets stuffed in here. And and a lot more stuff can be put inside of the pouch and I also don't have to worry about the lid on the Altoids tin in contrast to this nice low zipper and yeah I'm really glad I swapped out the Altoids tin for this Urban Survival pouch. And that is my Urban Survival pouch that's always on my person or inside my backpack. Uh, I could definitely add more things into the pouch which is great. I definitely like to hear some suggestions on items to add to an Urban Survival pouch. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials and thanks for watching.